Hey all, it's Oh Splinter Snake O, another custom figure review. Well, in fact, two, so to speak, but one's a very quick one. I'll get that one out of the way. This is the one we're going to be dealing with. So first, Ultimate Duck Arc. As you can see, he's got his lovely arms coming out. Uh, Ultimate Duck Arc arms are very different to the Marvel ones. They're very thin, finesse, and they can kind of morph which is pretty cool. Uh, this is how he feared in one of his first um, earlier comics of Ultimate Spider-Man. Uh, the figure itself is just very simply um, a Spider-Man's classic, I believe, um, Doc Ock. Came with some stupid backpack, which I think did some kind of war gimmick. I don't know, I'm not a big fan of gimmicks. Um, He's got big feet, which I noticed, and I hated it actually for the longest time, but then I realised they're actually one of the best things about him because he's got these mahusive arms, which kind of make him lean, and his big feet help him out. Uh, down to himself, four drill holes, very full small drill holes, and stripped off some, I believe, sentinel cables, or Omega Red Art uh, tendrils, I can't remember which is which, they, they were the same thing. Um, took the rubber back a bit, so he just had the metal sticking out, and then, uh, yeah glued them into place. I think they work really well for home ones and uh, they take up a small amount of room so they're not massive. Great figure. Um, care for the figure's articulation, I'll be quick. Head is, I think on a, is it I think a ball? I'm not sure, it doesn't, that's basically what you're getting, up that much, down that much. Arm um, is on a hinge, quite high, bicep swivel, double elbow, wrist rotation, finger movement. No ab crunch because of uh, what I've had to do, or ab rotation rather. Uh, T-cut in the hips, so you can go forward that far, out that far. Double joint knee, uh, there's a cut there but I've glued it. And then you have this much boot movement. Of course all of these are wily, bendy, however way I want to but there you go, Armored Dog Cock. The reason I'm showing you him at the same time as the main is because if anyone's actually read Armored Spider Man, you'll know that these two have a history. But I won't spoil that. Anyway, my custom built Ultimate Spider Woman. Do, do, do. Again, with most of my custom, she was uh, in the thought plan for a very long time, had numerous recipes um, and I'm trying to actually remember what is underneath all this because as with all my customs lately it's been dumped in storage so I can't quite remember, oh wait here we go ok, what we got we have a Spider-Man Classics black suit Spider-Man head the hair I'll get back to you on uh, the neck Torso to here is oh yeah is X thirty uh, X twenty three uh, Marvel Legends X twenty three though from the waist is uh, Marvel Legends Shadow Cat the hips is Marvel Legends Fantastic Four Classics um, Ultimate I don't know long arm Mister Fantastic um, from up to here. Then you have, I think, uh, think, 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 I think these ones are um, Shadow Cats again. The feet, I think, are Black Cats along with the arms are Black Cats. Um, so yeah, quite a few <laughs> figures thrown into this. Um, uh, yeah, but I, I like it. Um, I think it works really well. Size comparison. With the two classic, we've got my custom Spidey. I think, I mean, come on, that's pretty good. Uh, I know they were generally the same bulk, but I, I'm working with what I got, you know. The <laughs> female figures are always a bit funny with Marvel Legends, um, and then Cap, you know. So, there we go. As for her, she's Glued, sanded, smoothed, epoxied, uh, best I could. I can't think whose hair this is. I haven't actually painted there, so if anyone recognises it, let me know. Um, I know there was a 
different. Oh, you know what I think it is? It's a Buffy, the vampire's layer. I think that's. I think it's Faith's maybe. Maybe I did paint it. I don't know. It's rubber. Yeah, I think it's a Buffy the Vampire's layer. I don't know. Anyway, uh, feel articulation. She's got it all pretty much. Uh, head can rotate best to uh, the hair. As anyone with any female, she can look down pretty good again with the hair. Uh, up again, hindered to the hair. Uh, got her eyes askew. I've never noticed. I have to redo that. Uh, she's got a ball joint arm, but very kind of hindered by the paints. So bear with me. So we've got full 360. Then we can go out. We've got bicep swivel. I glued that one because I didn't see the point. I swivel, then a swivel. Which is, what's the point? Uh, double jointed elbow. So she can do that. Um, that got broken, so that got glued. And then we have finger articulation. Okay. Uh, same on the other side. The ab crunch goes back really far. Goes forward quite nicely as well. Um, this is the white spider things actually uh, sculpted on. I meant to do lines uh, to show the legs. I don't know if you can really see it. There are lines in there. They just about come out, uh, but I actually meant to paint them. Mm. Anyway, uh, teacup on the uh, leg, so straight forward, all the way up to the back. Uh, that's glued, as you probably will learn already. Not a fan of having that loose. Um, double jointed knee, and ankle can do lots of things. <laughs> so you can see, let's see, you go all the way there, all the way there, a little bit of a pivot. And some nice tie movement. Um, all in all, you get some great range of articulations from from that. Very happy with the figure. Um, they're they're coming along. I'm getting there. I need to redo a couple of things, I think. But um, yeah, any suggestions whatsoever of all my figures, guys? Please let me know. And uh, I'm going to try and keep posting the best I can. Thanks for watching. You guys are having a great day.